Hello there. Hopefully you've created your first e-learning program using artificial intelligence, using openelms.ai, the free version. In this video, I hope to show you the true capabilities of the enterprise version, so you can see exactly what OpenElms AI can do. So here we are logged into OpenElms AI, the enterprise version. We can tell it's the enterprise version because we can produce a lot longer courses. So we can produce in-depth courses, which are between an hour and a half and two hours long. Um, the the more up you go in the versions, the the, the larger the number, the larger courses you can produce. Um, so uh, what we'll do is we'll create a uh, in-depth course, which is the largest course we'll produce. Um, we'll then describe the project. Now we can produce multiple lines uh, to describe the project if we wanted to, and we're working on a feature so we can, you, so users can upload documents and produce courses based on that. Uh, but what we'll do here is just uh, describe it in uh, using text. So um, we'll do something that most people will be familiar with. So we'll say um, working under the working within the GDPR ledge. Is, legislation when working in a say sales office sales office so someone that's slightly slightly attuned to a particular method of work and um, looking at a legislation um, that that has been produced so um, what we can do is we can add a quiz and we can add e-learning uh, voiceover and then we'll select generate um, now this process will take us um it, it takes about six seven eight minutes so go and get a cup of t coffee go get a cup of tea whatever your your poison is and then come back to it later when it's done and we'll show you how we can work with the the draft once it's been produced it took slightly longer than we had expected but at around 10 minutes we've now got our course so what we've got to do now is take the draft course and put it into um into the courses uh, list below so we can then edit it to do that, we click on the preview, and this is where we can use AI to hone the design for us. So what it will do is it will load in the design, and then we can use, as I say, the AI to do a number of things. We can change images, we can enhance any of the learning, uh, and then we can make selections uh, from the various designs that the AI has created for us. So we're just loading up the preview now, and then we'll make those changes. Okay, so here we have the preview. Welcome to the e -learning. Press the button to proceed through this course. So we have our le to learning goals topic, here. You can return to it at any time by using the menu below. Okay, so there we have our video presenter. Very soon our video presenter will be saying uh, exactly what, what's listed on the screen itself. Uh, but anyway, um, so here we have various designs. We can choose different designs for each element. Um, and um, so let's just do that. So what we'll do is we'll scroll down, we'll select a different element there, and you can see what it does is it redesigns the learning for us. Um, and the AI has been used to, used to do a number of different things. It's selecting backgrounds, it's creating imagery, it's, it's using design heuristics to design the screen. So it's seeing where the focus of the background image is, and it's moving the elements around. It does the same stuff that we do as a design house um, when we create e-learning. It's exactly the same process. Um, so first of all, we have an introduction to GDPR, and we've got a number of different um, um, various options for us. Uh, it will it will include a um, uh, an image as well. So you may want to have like personal information. You've got got an image there, and um, sorry, an animation. Uh, and depending on what you're selecting, it will it will create an appropriate um, animation for you. So we let's say we like um, the look of uh, this one. Uh, we like we like that. So we'll select that one for the introduction to GDPR. Uh, objectives of implementing GDPR. Now we can choose uh, one of any ones of these. Uh, we might think this is not appropriate, um, but um, so let's uh, select our own. So what we'll do is we'll uh, create a, a photorealistic image uh, to do with the objectives of implementing GDPR. And what we're doing now is we're using um, uh, AI on the fly to create a new image for us for that would describe whatever's in here. So here it's basically seen GDPR. It's it's got a, an image of a, a crap computer and a lock in the middle of it. Fairly generic, but that's what the AI has produced for us from scratch. Uh, scope of GDPR. Here we've got information about the scope of the GDPR. Um, if we wanted to increase any of these sections, we can do that. So what we'll do is we'll basically um, increase this, let's say, to three subsections and then proceed. 
And instead of having this uh, area just described by one screen, we're now enhancing it to include three different screens. So it's just going to process that accordingly. And having done that, we can then choose different backgrounds for each of the steps in that uh, in the, under the scope of GDPR. So we just let the, GDP, uh, the AI create that for us. As you can see, now it's created. And we've got three additional screens here. So it goes into more depth about that area of, of, of GDPR. And we can select different backgrounds for each of these um, different areas. Uh, like so. So when you're when the user is using the learning, they've got different. They're taken through a different journey accordingly. Um, key principles of GDPR. Um, again, we've got background images we can select from uh, GDPR and Sales Office and Overview. Um, we can see that's not really appropriate. So um, we'll have to select something a little bit more appropriate. Uh, consent in GDPR. Um, so again, this is not appropriate, so we can create an AI-generated background. And we don't have to, to, to wait for it. We can basically just get that processing for us and while we, while we continue on. Roles under the GDPR. Um, uh, so we can select whatever we want to under here. Um, impact of, the, of GDPR sales strategies. You can see a, a lot of these images are, um, the content is quite similar in, in what it's describing. So. If it was something like working at height, you'd have different um, cases of working at height and different different uh, different backgrounds. But here's it's quite similar; it's quite samey. So, um, but the the animations will will, um, will will lift it and then add visual interest. And so we get through to the end. Um, if we just go scroll back up again, we'll see the image that we've created. Um, I think that's consent in EGDPR, so that's one we created there. Um, uh, writes the data subject, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll just scroll to the bottom. You can see it's quite an in-depth course. We have a summary, with a, again, with a video presenter that would, would come on and give us some information. And we have some quiz questions there. Now, this is, you can see basically with these courses, the, the longer the course, the more, more questions there are. Now, we press Create eLearning, and that's going to create the course for, for us. But that's not fake and plea. Um, what we can do now, that is edit the course now it's been created. Um, so uh, before we show you the other functionality, we'll just go in and edit the course and show you how we can then uh, may really make this our own course using the Open Elms Creator uh, um, software included with the system. So you can see here we've got the, the e-learning we created before. Um, just pause that. And you can see we can move any element around the screen if we wanted to. And we can double click as well and we can, um, we can edit any of the content we want to as well. Um, this is a preview of, of, the, of the learning, and, and it works in the same way that a learner would work. So it really is a what, 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 it, what you see is what you get type of um, editing system. So you can move stuff around. Um, if you wanted to, you can change the background. You can upload your own imagery. You're not, you're not um, uh, limited to the imagery we have here. Uh, but you can also um, uh, use um, our library of imagery to select images within the system. So here, let's just choose an office, and then we can choose an office here, data collection, GDPR. And if we wanted to include um, some sort of animation in here, let's just say we wanted to include uh, a vase. You have a vase here. Um, yes, there's a vase. And you can see now we've uh, got a vase we can put on the table. And you can do things like birds flying in the sky, um, a cat walking on and off the screen or whatever. Uh, and you can see everything uh, can be adjusted and put into the context. So you can upload your own images, upload your own uh, background images, animations, whatever you want to, video. Um, if you want to, have, if you had your own video content there, you wanted to add it. So say if you wanted um, to add a, a video about um, GDPR from YouTube, you can insert that. Uh, and then we can uh, insert that and put that on screen in the background there. And people can then play that and then that will play information for them. So it's a completely integrated um, system that integrates learning from all areas of the internet into your e-learning project. Um, and and that's it really. Um, it's as simple as that. Um, your quiz is there and uh, you can obviously edit the quiz. Um, and um, you have the summary at the end, but this is basically the course that we that you created um, when you were doing the when you were creating the um, uh, e-learning the preview view. But now you can get in there, double click, you can uh, uh, edit the text, and if you're editing the text, whatever you're doing, um, if if it's got auto narrator on it, the narration will be um, will be changed accordingly. So. 
um, it's nice because you're not constrained to the first um, the first uh, version of the, of the of the course. I mean, what the AI does for you, it gives you that starting point. You get that starting point, which you can then hone the hone the message, hone the learning, and it gives you a very professional look and feel to your entire course. And so you can here see we've within within ten minutes of processing using the AI, we've created a course, we've edited it, um, and now we can just distribute it. And I'll show you how to do that. So what I'll do is I just close the editing. Um, so there's a number of ways of distributing the, our, our newly created course. First of all, we can we can run it. Um, so you can you can run it by just just looking at it, uh, and in that experience you can share. So you can share a, a URL which you can cut and paste, you can put it into a, an email and you can send it to any, anyone. So basically the learning itself can be run outside of a learning management system. But if you have a learning management system, that's great. You click on that button and you can download uh, a SCORM um, package, which you can then import into any, to any other LMS. And that's it really. Uh, that's how you would create uh, an e-learning course using uh, OpenElms AI. Um, the major advantage of this is it, is it produces courses that which can be completely tailored to your own organization. So you're not constrained necessarily to the information in uh, large AI knowledge bases. Uh, you can also upload your own, it, your own documents and base the the e-learning on those custom AI as well. So whether you're an enterprise with all your own information, such as procedures, policy documents, you can import those into the system and you can create e-learning based precisely on those documents rather than relying on generic stuff um, sold off the shelf. And it's so easy to produce. You can produce e-learning every three months. Um, you know, you can update it um, and you can really bring that knowledge within a company and make it live within your organization. So that's OpenElms AI, that's the enterprise version. Um, I hope you enjoyed having a look at it. Um, if you've got any questions, please let us know. And um, yeah, good luck and um, hope to hear from you soon. Many thanks. <laughs>